Hello friends, this video on Amines part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take some numericals on the basic nature. We have to arrange the following in the decreasing order of their basic strength. So I have this, this benzene ring with NH2, right, benzenamine or aniline. Then I have C2H5 with NH2. Then I have C2H5 and C2H5 and H and then I have NS3. So now this is electron withdrawing group. Right? And this is I can write as this actually just to make things clear. So now C2H5 is electron releasing group. So I have two electron releasing group here. This one will be most basic, correct? Because there are two electron releasing group for this nitrogen. This will be most basic. Next will be this. At least there is some electron releasing group. This we have seen that aniline is least basic. In fact, this is ammonia is more basic than then. So ammonia will be third, and this guy will be fourth. So this is my first, second, third, and fourth. Aniline is the least basic amine out of these because we have seen just now we have discussed that because of the resonating structure also the this has more resonating structure than what you get when you add H plus to it and also this benzyl group is electron hogging they will withdraw electron correct again we have to arrange so we have the C2H5 NH2 C6H5 NH2 NH3 uh, C6H5, CH2, NH2 and C2H5, 2NH. See least is this, this we already know, this is least. And the second list is NH3, this is clear, right? This thing we know because others are my alkyl amines, they are stronger than ammonia and, and this is my aryl amine, they are weaker than ammonia, this we have seen. This is done, so now we have to arrange these, right? So let's see this. This is C2H5, N and 2H. Then I have a benzyl group attached to CH2 and then NH2. And then here I have C2H5, N again C2H5 and then H. So here if you see, this is again electron withdrawing group little bit. But here that resonating, resonating, uh, resonance structure is not coming to picture. This is electron releasing group. This is also two electron releasing group. So with that, since it has two electron releasing group, this is the best. Correct? Since it has one electron releasing group, this is second best. Since this is again alkyl, at least alkyl amine, this is third best. Fourth will be ammonia. Fifth will be aniline. Correct? So the best will be this guy, C2H5, C2H5, NH, 2C2H5, this is 2 ethyl group attached to a nitrogen. The next best will be my ethanamine, 1 ethyl group attached to NH2. And then will be this compound, I think this is benzylamine. And then we'll have ammonia and then we have this aniline. Here also we have to again arrange in the basic strength order. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Again if you see this is my aromatic amine, this is the least, this we already know. Correct? This is least we already know. Now we are left with 1, 2 and 3. So we are assuming this is all gaseous state. Or this is aqueous, not given, so we can't take risk. Let's, so let's do for both actually. So if it is gaseous state, it is pretty easy. This is having three alkyl groups. This is most basic. This is having two alkyl groups, least basic. Uh, next most basic, this is one alkyl group, lesser basic and this is the least. So if in gas state, this is my first. And then this guy with two ethyl group 
and then this with one ethyl group. This is N, this is NH, yeah, this is NH2, and this is my this compound. But if you see the aqueous, it is a little different. This will be always there, the leached one that you know bother, but instead of tertiary, we have seen as secondary becomes most basic this is what we have seen experimentally right and then becomes tertiary and then becomes primary c2h5 nh2 correct this is my c2h5 2 nh that is this is my 2 degree this is my 3 degree and this is my 1 degree correct this is my aqueous and this is my Gaseous. So in the aqueous experiment, you have seen that the two degrees most basic, three degrees in the next, one degree is least. So this is the strength. Here also, this is the this is the order. This is an H. There's nothing here. This is N, this is NH, this is NH2. Yeah. Here we have H, here we have nothing, here we have H2. Let's take one example. We here also we have to uh, write in the basic strength order. So here also if you see my I have an aniline here, this is the least, I can just ignore this. And then again I have a one with aromatic ring but not direct, the benzyl anemine. This will be the second list. These two I can just ignore now. Right? Let's focus on these three. On these three, if you focus, then again I'll do for both. In the gaseous medium, we just consider the tertiary is most basic. This is tertiary, this is the most basic, and then secondary CS3 2 with NH, and then primary. And then this guy, benzene with CH2 and NH2, and then this guy, aniline, pH, NH2, right? If you talk in the gaseous medium, uh, sorry, aqueous medium, so let's do in aqueous medium. So these two will be there last, but we have seen that experimentally that the most basic is the secondary for methyl and then primary and then tertiary this is all experimental value and then I have these two which is there correct so both are different not because it is different gas is it's different it's all experimental values there is no logic why this has come, why this has come. It is based on three factors plus I effect, steric hindrance, and solvation. Combination of these three. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.